and thanks for joining me for another episode of A Walk in the Park, a show all about the Elk Grove Park District. I'm Diane Malinowski, Public Relations Manager for the Park District, and I'll be your host. Here at the corner of Elk Grove Boulevard and Ridge Avenue is a place where you'll find fun for not only the young, but the young at heart. In today's episode, we'll find out how everyone can play at the Hattendorf Center. So stay tuned for this short break and we'll be right back. Our son Arjun was born with cystic fibrosis. CF is a genetic disease that shortens lives. When the foundation was founded in 1955, children with CF rarely live long enough to attend kindergarten. Today, thanks to the foundation's groundbreaking research, advocacy, and care, some people with CF are attending college, getting married, and starting families. We've made amazing progress, but until a cure is found for all people with CF, we will not stop. Help us add tomorrows. Visit cff.org today. Welcome to Hattendorf Park, our first stop at the Al Hattendorf Center. For years, this park has been a popular playground for preschool and neighborhood children. The original playground consisted of traditional play equipment like swings and slides and a sand area. Then in 2010, the whole park was redesigned to give it a more modern feel and offer more than just the basics. The improved playground features an accessible treehouse and a wheeled toy track with traffic signs to help kids learn how to bike ride safely. There are small open houses to provide imaginative and inclusive play. Seating areas and the picnic pavilion just outside the indoor multi-purpose room allow guests to move freely from the interior to the playground. A small storage shed houses sand toys, arts and crafts supplies, wheeled toys and trikes, as well as maintenance tools. Behind the shed, along the walk, is a butterfly garden and an art court. Top sized tables allow the young ones to be creative and have fun. The story garden is a great place to listen to stories, music and watch perform skits in a more natural setting. The garden is dedicated to Martha Bauer, the former early childhood director. Near the story garden is a small water play area often used by the summer camps. With artificial turf over a safety surface, there is less mud, which of course means less mess. The kids also have a sand play area and can dig like archeologists for fossils and other buried treasures. This is especially popular during the dinosaur units at the camps and preschool. Well, that looked like a lot of fun, but there's even more to enjoy here at Hattendorf Park. In 2016, the playground was expanded to provide more accessible features. As children with disabilities grow, traditional play equipment doesn't fit their bodies anymore. The new equipment is designed to fit all abilities and ages. It encourages many types of movement, such as swinging, swaying, spinning, and rocking. The play area also has a unitary surface and an open design. This makes it easy for everyone to move around in a safe and secure manner. Another important safety feature is this fence, which surrounds the entire park. It keeps playing children separate from the busy streets. And because Hattendorf Park does not allow dogs, it also keeps our canine friends that are walking with their owners in the neighborhood out of the park. So now that you've seen all the fun at Hattendorf Park, it's time to go inside the center and see all that there is to do. I'll meet you there right after a short break. Thanks for buying a fishing license. I want you to picture all the great things this simple purchase does. Like building public boat ramps, keeping local waters clean, and maintaining a healthy fish population. What's mom doing? When you buy a fishing license, you do a lot. 
Every dollar protects and maintains your local waterways for future generations to enjoy. Visit TakeMeFishing.org. Welcome back. And behind me is the side of the Hattendorf that caters to the young ones. Our early childhood and preschool programs offer exceptional programs, classes, and events for the preschool age child. For over 45 years, the Elk Grove Park District Preschool has had the pleasure of providing an outstanding early childhood education for the families of the community. Our curriculum is based on the Illinois Early Childhood Learning Standards. Our excellent, well-educated staff has a combined 200 plus years of experience and includes specialized music and gym teachers. And now let's take a quick look at some of the amenities our preschool offers. The first thing you'll notice is the brightly lit, colorful entrance hallway. It is accentuated with child-friendly wooden lockers and often decorated with student artwork. The colorful scheme then carries into the classrooms because as you can see, they too are bright and welcoming. The tables are arranged for small group learning. Next is the music classroom. Here, our students investigate the elements of music through sensory, organizational, and expressive experiences. Another important spot is our library. It connects the children to resources and open play space. The stage is another great place for kids to explore the arts by learning and performing. The stage is located in our spacious gym perfect for our developmentally appropriate large motor activities. Gym class is included in every child's registration. Students have the opportunity to experience a wide variety of equipment through fun and creative activities. Behind the stage area is the multi-purpose room. Our lunch program is held here as well as our activity guide classes. A movable wall can separate it from the gym to give the area more privacy. The preschool is separate from the rest of the Hattendorf Center. The safety of each and every child is important to us. The preschool wing is always securely locked while school is in progress. If these doors do need to be open, a staff member will always be right here. Well, now that you've seen what the Hattendorf has to offer for the young ones, let's head over to the other side and see what there is for the young at heart. The Sheila Ray Adult Center is a friendly, active place for adults 55 and better. So let's get started by taking a peek around. When entering the Hattendorf from either the north or south doors, you arrive in the nice lobby area that has the customer service desk. This desk serves the Sheila Ray Adult Center, the preschool, and the entire park district for registration and general information. Around the corner is the Cherished Treasures gift shop. This unique little store has lovely resale items. Cherished Treasures is run by Sheila Ray volunteers and is open throughout the week. Here is room three. This large room is for crafts, quilting, and meetings. Past the customer service desk is the sliding door entryway into the main portion of the adult center. Here you will be greeted by a friendly face. To the right lies the billiards room where members can gather to shoot pool any time of the day. The main room has many purposes. The monthly luncheons are held here, as well as many programs. To the right of the main room is a lounge and library, which can expand into the main room or be sectioned off to hold card games and board games. Through the main room is the Chit Chat Cafe, recently named and decorated 
for the members and guests to have a cheerful space to gather and, well, chit chat. The large modern kitchen is used as a service kitchen for a daily lunch program. The kitchen is also available for public rental. The rooms over here have computer stations and during tax season, the AARP volunteers fill these rooms filing returns for the residents and customers that sign up for this service. Finally, a favorite spot is Activity Room 1. Here, members gather to enjoy activities like wee bowling, singing, and most of all, each other's company. The Adult Center has many program services and special events available. I'm going to check some of those out now, so come join me. I'm going to finish up chair yoga here, and then we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll talk to Colleen about why you should become a member here. So don't go away. Every empty seat at a concert, game, or special event is a missed opportunity to say thank you to America's heroes. Donate your extra tickets to VetTix. Give something to those who gave. Go to VetTix.org. Welcome back. I'm here with Colleen Mahana, and she is the coordinator for the Sheila Ray Adult Center. And Colleen is going to tell us about all the benefits that the Sheila Ray Adult Center has if you're a member. Colleen, let's talk about membership. Who can be a member and how do you become a member? So anybody that's 55 or older can become a member and you can sign up at the customer service desk here at the El Hattendorf Center or at the pavilion. We do tours on Mondays at one o'clock and it's $30 for an Elk Grove resident to become a member. Can non-members attend the center? Yes, we welcome anybody who's 55 and older to attend the center, and you can pay the daily rate or you can become a member and pay the $40. What are the, some of the fun daily activities included with membership? We have a wide variety of card groups, poker, canasta, pinochle. We also have billiards that you can come and play, and we also have an ambassadors group, which is a choir, and we have our variety of groups, so crafts, ceramics, knitting and crocheting, sewing, a wide variety of things that you can get involved in. Do some of the other activities include an additional fee? Yes, there is. Uh, line dancing, um, the chair yoga in the morning, the monthly luncheon, the daily lunch, all of those require an additional fee. However, they are discounted with a membership rate. What other things can members participate in? We have Big Band Night, which is held at the Garden Terrace over at the Pavilion, and it's uh, the swing jazz that plays, and you can enjoy refreshments and dance the night away. What about the Ambassadors group that you talked about? Tell me more about that. Yeah, so our Ambassadors is our choir group. It's a great group of people. There's about 35 of them. They practice every single Thursday, and they also put on concerts here at the Sheila Ray a few times a year, and they'll also attend Song Fest at other senior centers. Tell me about some of the trips, like where have you gone or where do you plan to go? So we have very popular trips to see plays, the casinos, the professional baseball games, so a wide variety of things that we go and do, but we try to hit all um, interests within the community. Um, with the trips, um, if you're a member or a non-member, you sign up and 
the trip means that you've provided a bus? Yes, and we provide a bus and the admission to whatever we're doing. Some, like the plays, we do provide lunch for that. So it's a full day of fun. Tell me about your monthly and your daily luncheons. So our monthly luncheons are heavily attended and we have themes for every single month. We do it the third Wednesday of the month between 11.30 and two o'clock and we serve catered food and we have live entertainment. So it's a lot of fun. The whole place is decorated. Everybody dresses up to whatever the theme is and we all just have a good time. You also have daily luncheons. How does that work? Yes, we do have daily lunches. So you have to sign up the day before by five o'clock and the lunches come over and are provided by Amida, which is our local hospital. So they come through our doors and then we serve them to our members. You put out a couple of annual events. So what are those? One is the Holiday Bazaar. So those are handcrafted items by our members and they work very hard all year long to provide these specific items to be sold and all the proceeds come back to the Sheila Ray. And then we also have the rummage sale. So the rummage sale are donated items by people within the community and then we resell them and the profits come back to the Sheila Ray as well. And we couldn't do it without all of our senior members that volunteer for it. They put in a lot of time and hard work to provide that for the community. So you've told us about your daily events, your special events. Do you have things that the outside community comes in to present to the membership? We do. We work with the Elk Grove Police Department for PAST, which is our police and seniors together. And they find out what's happening within the community and just touch base on that. And then we also have rules of the road. So if you need to renew your license or do your driving test, then you could do that service. We also have chat with a lawyer, which is a local lawyer in the community that comes here and you can meet with them within 15 minute increments and just ask questions that you would generally ask um, when meeting a lawyer. Um, so we also have current events, which brings in the mayor, the uh, local organizations like the Daily Herald and the Elk Grove Village Fire Department. And we also work with the museum. So we have the Elk Grove Park District Museum come in and teach about history comes alive in various uh, interests that the seniors might have and going back in time and finding more out about the past. What kind of services does the Sheila Ray Adult Center provide to its members? We do blood pressure checks the third Wednesday of the month between 9 and 11. And then we also have the lending closet. So the lending closet is for Elk Grove residents only. And we lend out for eight weeks at a time wheelchairs, transports, canes, uh, grabbers, crutches, and it's just for anybody. You don't have to be 55 or older, but it's for anybody within the community that needs that assistance or that equipment. That's a great service. Yes, and we also have the AARP income taxes uh, that we have here at the Sheila Ray, and it is it runs from February to April, and you can sign up at one of the customer service desks. They'll make an appointment with you. They send you reminders, and then you show up the day of and you get your taxes done. Colleen, you've told us about everything that goes on here. How do the members find out what happens each day? So we have a few pages within the Park District brochure that comes out quarterly. We also have a page on the Park District website for the Sheila Ray. And then we have digital displays, not only here at our center, but within the park district that has all our information displayed on it. And then we have a huge wall calendar in the main room to display all of our daily and monthly activities. Well, that's a great way to get your information out. It is, and then we also have our buzz. So this oh. is something that all of our members and non-members look forward to looking through. How does someone get a copy of it? You can pick it up here at the Sheila Ray or you can even get it at one of our other facilities like the Pavilion, Garden Terrace, or Fox Run, or even the library. We also have it available that you can sign up online or through one of our customer service for free mailing to your home.
Wow, that is really good. And this comes out four times a year. Correct. And it's got your calendar. It and, does. And yeah. all the things that we talked about gives everybody a heads up. It does. And it also even has a letter from our president for our advisory board. Colleen, besides all the reasons we've talked about, why do you feel someone should become a member? So there's a sense of community here within the Sheila Ray. These people are each other's family members. They will sit down and have a cup of coffee together or just play a game together, sit and do a puzzle, but they all come together. They celebrate birthdays together. When somebody's not feeling well or they have had an injury, then they all sign a card and we send it to them. So it's a sense of family here at the Sheila Ray. So it's a family in a community within a community. Correct. That's so nice. Um, and then a, a lot of the members have been members here for years. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so the Sheila Ray has been around for 40 years. And some of the members have been here from the beginning. And as we're growing, new members are coming and being a part of what we have here in our little community. That's really nice. A, a service, a place to go and people to be with just all right within um, Elk Grove and the Park District and specifically the Sheila Ray Adult Center. Yes, it's a great place to be a part of. Thank you, Colleen, for telling us today all about the Sheila Ray Adult Center. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk about more of the Sheila Ray and what we have to offer the community. There's more of A Walk in the Park right after this break. A Caring Place is a respite program available from 9.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday at Christus Victor Church. This is a socialization program for adults. It is now partnered with InTouch Home Care to offer a full day of care services at an affordable rate. InTouch can provide additional services including transportation to and from a caring place as well as assistance in dressing and preparing for the day. The program is organized and supervised by a trained and caring staff. If you are interested, call 847-437-2666, extension 24. Throughout the show, we keep mentioning the names Al Hattendorf and Sheila Ray. So you might be wondering, who were they and why did the Park District name buildings after them? Al Hattendorf worked for the Park District as the Program Recreation Manager for over two decades. He oversaw many of the district's athletic programs, special events, teen center, and the Grantwood Center. Because of Al's passion for bicycle riding, he organized a club in the village. Ironically, his life was cut short doing the very thing he loved. While stopped at an intersection on his bike, Al was struck and killed by a car on September 27, 1987. He was 48. To pay tribute to this well-liked, well-respected employee, the Park District renamed the Grantwood Center after him. Sheila Ray also worked for the Park District and became the coordinator of the Senior Center in 1983. Sheila simply had a love for working with the senior community. Throughout her career, she made a lot of positive changes to the center, including assembling the ambassador band, organizing fun trips for the seniors, and overseeing the installation of handicapped doors. She also initiated the intergenerational program, which integrates the seniors with local high school students. Under her 15 years of leadership, the center expanded to serve over 1,900 seniors. Sheila did all this and more while facing an ongoing battle with breast cancer. Unfortunately, she lost the fight and passed away in 1998. Shortly after what would have been Sheila's 53rd birthday, the Senior Center was named after her in remembrance of a great leader and a dear friend. The Park District will always be grateful for these two outstanding employees. 
and we'll return shortly for more of A Walk in the Park. Hello, residents of Elk Grove Village. I'm Officer Elkinski. We here at the Elk Grove Village Police Department would like to remind you to follow the 9 p.m. routine. After a long day, it may be easy to forget to lock up and secure your valuables. So follow these quick and easy steps to protect your property. Step 1. Remove valuables from your vehicle. Step 2. Lock vehicle doors. Step 3. Close your garage. Step 4. Lock exterior doors. Step 5. Turn on exterior lights. By practicing these simple steps, you can help reduce crime by stopping it before it occurs. Stay safe, Elk Grove Village. Well, we've come full circle, and this is our last stop. At the east side of Hattendorf Park are these two bocce ball courts. The courts were recently renovated with additional seating and shade shelters and are now more accessible to patrons. Contributions from the Sheila Ray Adult Center help to fund these new improvements. This family-friendly area is another way to provide multi-generational activities for residents, showing that here at the Al Hattendorf Center, everyone can play. Well, I'd like to thank Colleen for telling me all about the Sheila Ray Adult Center and to all the members for making me feel so welcome. And last but not least, to you for watching. Be sure to join me, Diane Malinowski, next time for a walk in the park. Bye. Then in 2010, the park was redesigned to give it a modern feel and offer more than just the basics. Okay, you know we gotta do it again. Yeah. Um, can your hands come out from your sleep? <laughs> the preschool wing is always securely locked while school is in progress. Is that too depressing? It was. <laughs> Then, in 2010, the whole park was redesigned to offer more than just the basics and give it a yeah. something or other feel. It was modern. a modern feel. Join me next time. Uh, 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 and be sure to join me. Me, okay. Then, in 2010, the whole park was redesigned to offer a more modern feel and you're grasping. All right, grasping at straws. For years, this park has been a popular playground for preschool and neighborhood children. How good. <laughs> Not my fault. <laughs> I'll meet you there after a short break. Okay. You, okay. You, you've got it. You go, girl.